and welcome to Greece. More specifically, Hefkohori, which is a little villagey place in the Macedonian region of Alkadiki, which is also Cassandra. Cassandra. Yeah. We're debating whether it's an island or not. So but I don't think it is. It's <laughs> mainland Greece, yeah, basically. Yeah. It's got, a, it's got a road bridge over a canal type thing. It's 10 past 11 now on our first full day. Oh yeah, our first full day here. And our first impressions of the place that we are staying at, is, it's pretty cool, pretty good Swiss place really. We are stopping at the Flegra Palace hotel which yeah. used to be two hotels we found out yesterday that it was also the beach hotel which is now gone yeah. it's owned by somebody else. somebody else we didn't bother with the travel day it was such a busy day it's such what? a busy oh dear gatwick we flew from there were thousands there so we couldn't really find a space to really film anything yeah uh, I was very busy. I dare, I dare not think what it is when it's half turn with the kids and all that. It must mm. be absolutely. If that was busy for us, I mean, we don't generally fly from that that kind of busy airport, should mm. we say? We tend to fly from. Well, I tend to fly from Birmingham mainly for long haul flights, but we've. Can't remember the last time. The last time I think I flew from Gatwick was before Covid, well before Covid, and I was on my own. I was going home. I think it was an Emirates flight, wasn't it? Mm. I believe so, yeah. But that was chaotic. Nearly missed my flight. From then, Gatwick has changed again. It's a new, you thinking, where am I? It's huge. The I, I haven't flown out of it for 22 years, so. Yeah. Okay. And it was my birthday yesterday, which Wee! meant it was a birthday travel day. Right then, let me just take it from there. I'm going to address both travel days, going and coming back. If you've already seen the What Were We Thinking video, then you know that this Greek holiday was through British Airways and the airport parking and the airport transfer weren't part of the deal. And to arrange these, we had to choose somebody independent and that was holiday extras. We flew from Gatwick Airport to Thessaloniki on October the 8th, 2023, my birthday. And the time of the flight was 20 to 4 in the afternoon. Knowing that the journey there to Gatwick was going to be quite a way from where we live. And the fact that you must be at the airport about three hours before you fly. I'd worked it out that yeah, we had to leave home about 9 a.m. so that's a three hour car journey hope that you find the park and ride okay and get everything organized so you can take the bus from there to the terminal and then check in and the thing is we made up so good time that we actually arrived at the park and ride at half 11 so the Gatwick airport park and ride was at Cop Hall park and ride and if you go on the holiday extras website they tell you all about the park and ride site and it's even got a little video telling you everything you need to know to check into there and catch the bus so we parked up went inside and they couldn't find us on their system not to mention the fact that we had to go back to the car to get our luggage out of the car because then obviously we hand them our car key so this process of checking in to there took a little while longer than what we thought it would be and when we actually got on the bus we had to wait for the driver to move the bus for quite a few minutes after that to get to the terminal overall it was okay I mean the weather was nice and it's not really a very intimidating place to be like some park and rides can be. We got to the airport okay, check in and get through to departures okay. But then this is why I said to myself I'm not going to film anything here. I can't really find anywhere in the airport to find myself on my own to be able to film anything. Well, the reason being the whole of England or indeed the London area were catching a flight from Gatwick that afternoon. It was absolutely rammed 
around. I can only assume that everybody had got a cheap holiday, not from British Airways possibly, but from anywhere because it was the close of season. Everybody was waiting for a gate to be chosen on the screen and then it was a bit of a walk to the gate and then another hour waiting at the gate to board the plane. So the flight, which should have been 20 to four in the afternoon, became five o'clock. We were told that apparently there was a technical fault with the air conditioning pack on board the plane. There are two packs on the plane so if one goes I think they were a bit scared of the other one going as well mid-flight so instead of that going they fixed the problem with the first one the people on board the plane were a little bit rowdy maybe a bit a bit agitated that they hadn't got on board a lot earlier than they did but it all calmed down once the plane started moving and everybody just settled down for the flight. Thessaloniki airport is quite pleasant it's in, and of course it was late at night anyway so not a lot of people around but it was all okay but it wasn't absolutely clear what we had to do having got off the plane into the terminal where do we get the transfer from so we all well we followed people outside and all the stands were out by the if you like the taxi pickup bit offering all the transfers that were available we were looking for the t4a stand and that stands for transfer for all and luckily because of the lateness of our flight they were still waiting for us to come to them to get on board their transfer there were a few of us to get on board the transfer so it was just a case of everybody lining up showing their reservation for it and then getting on board and it was a mercedes sprinter rather than a coach that took us to the hotel as the holiday extras website suggested it would be a coach now in the last video i did mention about hiring a car and that we should have done that and if you look at the route down to the hotel it is pretty straightforward so the transfer itself it was a good driver it was late at night so there wasn't much on the road now if i had a car straight to the hotel would have took me an hour and 15 minutes but he had a full minibus and it took over two hours to get from all the hotels and dropping people off and one of the drop-offs was right across to the west side of the finger as i call it to a place called sani or it could be sani so if you look at the map we should have turned left at this junction but he went right and went all the way down into sunny to the sunny club hotel now when i say finger if you look at the whole of this area there are three fingers of land and we were on the most western finger so we had to go all the way back to the original route and follow the road down by the seaside if you like coastal road all through these other villages and stopping at each of them along the way and at one point the driver got out to help this couple off get their luggage out and everything and then they he led them up this path at the side of buildings like a dark alleyway never to be seen again we were hoping for a lot better than that our hotel is set rather nicely away from the main road with its own driving uh, drop-off point so it's easily seen from that main road now coming back home i had a feeling that it was the same driver that picked us up so there's no problems there but in in actual fact if you think about it it was a good job we went down to the reception area to be picked up a little earlier than what they said they were going to pick us up because the minibus actually came early the journey to Thessaloniki took a lot longer than coming the other way because of the hotel stops in fact one hotel we took so long at it people got off the minibus to go toilet when we got to the airport everything else sort of went okay now i had put a thin jumper on for the plane and was thinking it was going to be okay when we got back to england you know for the weather however if you think back i had mentioned i was a bit ill during the holiday and the cough i had had got worse as the holiday went on and certainly on the plane and other people on the plane were coughing as well so there must have been something going on and when we got to Gatwick, we were waiting for the bus to take us back to the park and ride and it was pretty cold 
we got back to Cop Hall Park and Ride and obviously there was different staff on because it was early morning by that time and we were dealt with by a young lad who was trying to tell us where the car was I'm not sure whether we misunderstood him or he just didn't tell us properly but on his instruction we couldn't find the car and it had got down to zero degrees outside obviously we found the car eventually and we had to scrape ice off the windscreen in a thin jumper with a bad cough and it was gone one in the morning i was getting really ill with it i was getting a bit you know upset shall we say and getting in the car the car doesn't warm up immediately when you switch it on we were trying to demist but it was cold air coming in obviously to to start with and it takes a few miles down the road to get warmed up so it certainly wasn't going to warm up just standing there in the car park now the chap at the desk had given me a code and this code you punch into a little machine at the barrier of the car park and uplifts the barrier but it didn't work again was it me misunderstanding the code or did he tell tell it to me properly i tried it one or two times and i thought no i'm not getting anywhere here i had to reverse out and let somebody else come to it and try it and i noticed that that chap punched in a longer code so with this i got out of the car ran back towards the kiosk the desks and so forth to get a proper code off somebody and then there was a bus standing there waiting to go and he shouted at me what's up chap and i said oh, i don't know what the code is and he said oh it's so and so and it was four digits so i got the right code and obviously the barrier lifted and off we went back home and we got home at four in the morning I was hoping to go work that morning but that wasn't going to happen because i was slowly going downhill in health and i ended up having the next two weeks off work so our travel days wouldn't have been very good being filmed properly although i suppose the drama would have been there for you but i just wasn't really feeling brilliant in myself and at the time we just wanted to get to our destinations whether it be the hotel or back home but that's it for this one then guys we are going back to the balcony of our hotel room for our first full day in Greece in the next video however the next video is more for family and friends really as all it is I'm just going to be opening up my birthday cards unless of course you're interested in what birthday cards I had last year if you want to wait for the next video to come out after that one don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be notified on that next video so until then bye for now